Washburn Rural, your life is about to get a whole lot easier. Well, every other Wednesday it'll get like 10 minutes easier, but as Darren Hardy would tell you, that will add up. So, here's what you do. Go to the email that I recently sent you entitled 2016-2017 Club Attendance. Open it and you will find a link to a Google Sheet of the same name. When you open that Google Sheet, you will see a very simple spreadsheet that has the name at the bottom of every single club at Washburn Rural in alphabetical order. All you need to do if you can't find your club is come over to these little gray arrows where you see scroll left or scroll right and then scroll until you find the club that you are the sponsor for. Or if you're checking attendance, scroll until you find the club that you need. So let's say hypothetically I am the sponsor for Young Democrats. I'm going to click there. I'm going to add today's date, and the date, guys, is super important because that lets everybody know that you have been in there and you have updated your attendance. So you write the date, then you write your students that were in attendance that day. When you're done with that, you're done. You don't need to do anything else. You don't have to email everyone and let them know that the spreadsheet has been updated because they all have access to this sheet and they can see it for themselves. You don't need to clutter up anybody's email inbox because we can use this one sheet for the rest of the year. Don't need to send out anything to anyone, just edit this and then you're done. And then next week, let's say hypothetically we're meeting on October 4th, all you need to do is go in and change the date, remember date's important, and then get rid of the people that were there that week, the previous week, and then add the people that came this week. And then that's all you have to do, you're finished. Now, let's say that hypothetically you are in charge of a club or a group that doesn't regularly meet. Look down here in the bottom left corner. There's a little plus sign that says add sheet. Now, let's say that my wrestling team is going to have their preseason meeting. We don't meet every club period, but we do meet every once in a while. So I would add a new sheet, and you'll see that it says sheet 44 right over here. I'm going to right click on sheet 44. I'm going to rename it to my group, which is wrestling. And then what I'm going to do to make it easier on everybody else, is I'm going to go ahead and just grab that and drag it to where we are alphabetical. So that way people can find it very easily when they're checking their attendance. I go in and I add the date. I add my attendance. And let's say that the Hulkster was the only one that was able to make it to my wrestling meeting. Now I'm finished. Now, next time we have a club period, if wrestling's not going to meet, all I need to do is go in here, right click, and get that sheet out of it. And yes, I want to delete that sheet. Okay, And obviously, I would never delete somebody else's sheet, but if my group's not going to meet, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Then, what if you have a hard time finding this thing? You don't have to save the email that I sent you. If you've edited it or opened it once, it will be in your drive. So all you need to do is open up drive.google.com, then go search drive and type club attendance, and you'll see 2016, 2017 club attendance. Open it and you're ready to make all of your edits. It could not be easier. So um, hopefully this will save everybody a little bit of time and hopefully this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, send me an email and let me know. But I do have one question for you. Does anybody know? Why do we have this weird gravestone out behind the building? Strange. Go Blues!